Hello, it's Riyad, and welcome to the Internal Medicine Board Review Series, Cardiology. And, um, you know, we talked about valvular heart disease. We finished aortic stenosis and aortic rigor. Now we are going to talk about mitral valve prolapse. You know, guys, honestly, I made this video a long time, and I always thinking I will delete this video, but I don't know. Maybe it's the, even if you'll see the slide is different. So let's see if you like what I made uh, basically a few, t few days ago. Yeah, I'm not sure if you like it or not, but let me share this with you. Ready? Okay, <laughs> I understand maybe you don't like it, but I think you are right, because it's basically too much colors and it's kind of crazy. But you're really surprised because this S1, when it appeared, disappeared without, without sound. So it's a kind of interesting. So basically, guys, we are talking about, please, the most important, most common valvular heart disease, which is mitral valve prolapse. And why, why we did that? This, this is the click, mitral, there is, the question was diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse. So this is very important. The click usually in the mid systolic click, this is just mid systolic click due to tittering, so snapping basically due to the snapping of, um, of papillary muscles, right? Papillary muscles. That's why tensing papillary muscles and uh, you will hear this click. And basically, by the way, let's be, maybe, sorry, maybe I forget the prolapse. Basically, this is the mitral valve one open. One of the leaflets of mitral valve will be just uh, longer than the first one. And this leaflet, because it's usually longer than the first one does, so basically this is the, uh, this is the papillary muscles. So the papillary muscles, when try to close, usually it's, it got tense because of, you know, longer distance, so, or, you know. So that's why you will hear a click. Now, after the click, you look at this, the opening, I mean, the closure is not 100%, therefore you will see a leak, and look at this, you will see a kind of leak during wear. This is the most, I, I think this is really interesting point, physiology. So the leak that occurred during systole, guys, not during diastole. Again, look at this leak, which is basic, if there is leak, and if there is leak in case of mitral regard, this usually occurred during systole. So where basically when the heart pump, when the heart pump, you have two stroke volume, you have a kind of regurgitant stroke volume, and you have a forward stroke volume. This regurgitant stroke volume between mitral bar prolapse. So this is occurred during systole. That's why you will see. That's why you'll see a murmur during systole, right? That's why the murmur basically is during systole. And this is just ejection. And this is basically eje not ejection, sorry, mid to late systolic murmur. So this is the differential. This is the diagnosis, clinical diagnosis of mitral valve prolapse. Mid systolic click followed by mid systolic click followed by mid to late systolic murmur. Now maneuvers wise, which is very high up. And it's easy. Anything that makes the cardiac cavity larger, this will increase. This sorry, this will decrease the memory. Is it? Is it easy? Anything makes the cardiac cavity larger. Look at the memory. Look at the mid systolic click. It's usually at the end. While look at the normal, not normal. Look at the control part of mitral bar prolapse. You will see mid systolic just middle of systole. While look at this, you will see the click usually at the end. If you compare with the second one, look at the click in the second one, the click usually in the beginning. So, and even look at the memory, it's huge. I mean, the long duration of the memory. So, anything makes the heart cavity, I mean, the larger, uh, the, uh, yeah, the heart cavity larger, that's been decreased the memory. So, basically, here the memory decreased. And anything means the la uh, cavity is smaller, decrease the memory. Uh, sorry, increase the memory here. Yeah, sorry, sorry. 
it's just get the murmur more and increase and more pronounced. Now, it, what I mean by larger cavity, basically an increase afterward. And may also basically an increase the preload. How you will increase the preload in this patient? Just makes the patient in reclining position. So this is the head of the patient and this is the, this is the leg. Reclining position basically will increase the preload. Right? You will increase preload. What else? An increase after load sequat. When you make sequat, basically you will you will just compress the femoral artery. And when you compress the femoral artery, and increase the femoral artery pressure. Now that means aortic pressure increase. So it's a kind of compression to the heart. That's why the heart cavity will be larger. That's why the memory will be smaller, right? Smaller. So basically, anything make the heart larger, like an increase after which is sequat. An increase an increase the preload, maybe IV fluid. What else also is a kind of increased preload? Beta blocker, which is usually drug used for mitral valve prolapse. Why? Because in beta blocker, basically, you will get a bradycardia. I mean, decrease, I mean, you will get a bradycardia. And because it's a bradycardia, now you have more time for filling. So basically, the filling will be increased. And once you will have more time for filling, in this case, you, which is a kind of make the heart cavity larger. So these are the three important, I guess, things. Whether an increase afterload, whether an increase in preload, these, these maneuvers, eventually lead to decrease the memory. How you make the memory more pronounced? Standing. Just a standing, which is basically decreased preload. Valzelva -val -val maneuver. And usually when we talk about Valzelva maneuver, means the first first stage of Valzelva. So when you make Valzelva, and in this case, intrathoracic pressure will be increased, or intrathoracic pressure will be increased, well, sorry, when intrathoracic pressure increases, the venous retain will be decreased. So both of these lead to decreased venous retain, and when the venous retain decreases, decreases the preload, and that's why the memory will be more pronounced. That's why the memory more pronounced. Maybe it's too much physiological point here. Uh, I think I, I think usually usually the questions will ask about the maneuvers and the memory. While or if the memory is increased during the preload, that's it. If it increases when the preload decreases, it's just mitral valve prolapse. Usually, a patient is middle age. Usually, the patient is young, asymptomatic, maybe female, right? Young asymptomatic patient. Okay. Thank you and thank you and uh, sorry again if I torturing with the first with this video. <laughs> thank you.